Hallo und willkommen, ich bin Meister Lenz and you're watching Get Germanized How Does Tipping Work in Germany, aka the German Tipping Culture. I am bored, what should I do? Ah, ich weiß. Get I get this question a lot. Uh, how does tipping work? Do we even tip in Germany? Is it an insult? Is it welcome? Should you tip? And after being in the USA, in Georgia, yes, I know. Why did you go to Georgia? I enjoyed it. Friends of mine live there. Anyway, <laughs> I came closer in contact with how important tipping is over there, like uh, 10 to 20% depending on the situation because they kind of live off the tips and don't really have any other major form of income. I mean, they get paid like very little, a couple of dollars, I think an hour, which is ridiculous, but that's a different topic. In Germany, is it the same? For those of you who just looked for a quick answer, the answer is no, it is not the same, it is different. I've done some research, especially on the website of the Knigge, which is kind of a behavioral guideline for, well, how to be proper in public and in restaurants and in different social situations in Germany. Tipping, according to the Knigge, is something you should do in Germany, but something you don't have to do. Different than in the US, the, uh, well, serving money, the tipping money is included in the price. So the waiter already gets some of the money that you pay. So if you pay something on top of that, it is mostly done if the service was exceptional, if the service was really good, uh, maybe the, the uh, bar or the restaurant was really busy and they still provided good service. They regularly asked you, for example, if you want new drinks, if it was yummy and all of that kind of stuff, even though it was busy. That would be good service in my opinion and that is tippable as well, I'd say. The Knigge says that uh, tipping should be around 5 to 10% of the main bill, uh, so well similar in the US like you give 10 to 20 depending on how good the service was, similar in Germany. Uh, also if the bill is very high, like a couple of hundred euros or something, it should probably be 5% I think at least just because otherwise I mean you pay so much money and in Germany as I mentioned it's not really necessary to tip, I mean it's nice, it shows that you enjoyed the service, it's good for the waiter he will not complain or she will not complain, but it's not mandatory. If the bill is, well, smaller, the percentage could be higher, like 10%, for example, of the main bill. If you just pay 30 bucks, that would be three euros. And me personally, uh, I just tip whatever I feel like at the moment, what I have in my, like, <laughs> change pocket sometimes like it's I'm, it's I'm not gonna do what some people do when it's for example 1995 they say I'll make it 20 like I'm always like why just don't tip at all then like if you want to tip five cents it's ridiculous and I think most service personnel would feel a little bit a little bit stupid accepting that uh, some might even say no no it's fine or something then because five cents like really how cheap are you? <laughs> Mostly I would say around 22, 23 euros, something like that. Just a gut thing. I'd never calculate the percentages since I had to read this up myself as well, how like much of a percentage to tip because ever since I was in America, like before that, I mean, I never knew about the percentages like that you're supposed to tip a certain percentage. I just, like I said, did it by gut. And apparently that's not proper, so keep that in mind, 5 to 10% here in Germany. Also, apparently you should tip in cash, even if you pay by card, because sometimes if you just raise the amount on the card, um, it doesn't reach uh, the waiter, it goes straight to the owner of the restaurant, and I guess it's a bit shitty. So um, maybe just pay the normal amount of what you owe with the card, and then pay well, the tip in cash. But it also greatly depends on where you are, on the situation, on the location. Uh, depending on that, you have to tip differently. Let's say you are in a good hotel. Room service usually gets two to five euros per, well, uh, delivery. During the arrival or the departure, for every, well, suitcase, for every bag, you should tip around two euros. And if your concierge, uh, well, organizes something special for you, like uh, tickets for an opera that is sold out already or something else that is really nice of him, uh, maybe 10 euros. Or let's say you go out, maybe to the opera that the concierge just gave you the tickets for 
and you have to go to the cloakroom to hand in your jacket or you want to do that at least. Sometimes it already costs something, for example 50 cents to a euro depending on the location, right? But um, maybe if you feel like the person uh, serving you is really nice, is really friendly, has a smile and uh, says something nice, how was your day, hello, something like that, maybe tip him about 50 cents I'd say. And if you have a lot of uh, luggage, maybe even a suitcase or something like that, tip him around two euros, I'd say. Of course, uh, the same goes for the opposite. If he's really unfriendly or she's really unfriendly, and if she just uh, throws over your coat like this or like wrinkles them up and stuff like that is really unfriendly, then don't tip at all. Like, it's not mandatory in Germany. If you're in a taxi, it's around 10%. That is usually, uh, I think, the, the sum that you should tip. But depending on the situation, it is different. Like, for example, do you go on a long trip or is it just a short trip? Um, or is he friendly or does he smoke all the time even though you are coughing all the time and it's maybe even a, a non-smoker taxi and he just doesn't care? Uh, is he f generally friendly? Does he help you with your luggage or doesn't he? Uh, depending on that, you tip or you don't tip. Um, like I said, it's really just a gut feeling thing here in Germany. If someone's really nice and the service is good, you tip. If it's not, you don't. I personally really don't mind tipping if the person is nice, like I said many times in this video. And I usually do tip and uh, that sadly, <laughs> which I don't necessarily agree with, um, includes the toilet personnel in Germany. I know that many people hate the fact that for public toilets and, and shopping malls, for example, there's usually someone sitting out there, not demanding a tip of any sorts, but really staring at you and greeting you and, and saying something when you don't tip sometimes as well. It's really awkward. And so you give them like 20 to 50 cents, I guess. <laughs> Even though uh, toilets sometimes I think should be free. But in Germany, they look after the toilets, they keep them clean. Sometimes they don't even have the lady or the guy sitting there anymore, which I prefer. I mean, it's mostly more expensive than it's like a euro sometimes, depending on where you are. But they just have this mechanical thing that you go through um, and you even get a voucher, I think about 50 cents off of something in the train station or in the airport, um, coffee, rolls, food in general, something like that. So that kind of tipping exists as well, that kind of forced tipping. Uh, it kind of force you into it because it's awkward if you don't, if someone's sitting out there. Uh, yeah, maybe you guys can let me know about your experiences with that or with tipping in Germany and in your country in general. What is it like where you are from? I would really like to know uh, what you have well gone through so far when it comes to tipping or what is the norm in your country. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe if you haven't yet and consider supporting me on patreon.com slash get germanized and becoming part of the germ elite. <laughs> That's basically part of the germ fam that supports and sponsors every single video of mine financially. I highly, uh, well, appreciate that because it helps me bring you videos three times a week every Wednesday, Friday and Sunday at 8 p.m. CET. That's uh, Germany time. And uh, yeah, you guys are amazing. You guys rock. Share this video. That helps too. Share it, like it, comment, interact with the video. And apart from that, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to get Germanized. Goodbye and auf Wiedersehen.